I was feeling shame for the sexual act with a girl, but also shame for the sexual act with a man. I wish I wish I knew more about more about my body. La única información que tú tenías era del del porno. Hi, my name is Giovanni. I am originally from Italy, from Rome, and I'm 29 years. My name is Mira. I'm 38 years old and I'm from Bulgaria. Soy Jose, eh, tengo 27 años y soy de España. I remember we had sex education twice in school. We watched uh, a very brutal video of a woman giving birth, which was meant to scare us from having sex, and it worked. <laughs> you would learn about the heterosexual way of having sex. This was the norm, how pregnancy works. You never talk about the other beautiful things that come with sex, which is the pleasure, the connection. You, you just talk about how it is useful for society because it is reproductive. I come from a Catholic school, so practically what I learned was very limited and the things that I was supposed to have learned me gave me in a wrong or false Un día vino una supuesta sexóloga y nos dijo que el preservativo solo te protegía del 1% de las enfermedades de transmisión sexual. No solo no se hablaba de las relaciones homosexuales, sino que de una forma se denigraban. Entonces, eh, ¿tú crees que tú creces con eso? La cultura que había en ese momento super machista siempre eh, enfocaba el sexo en una persona que disfruta y la mujer que es la que pues prácticamente la que se utilizaba. I remember very specifically that friends would tell me the first couple of times it's not nice you you're not going to like it. I, I remember this. I really wish that someone talked to me about consent in a in a more deeper sense because the way that we were taught uh, that consent is basically just when you don't get raped everything else is consent and I think there's a lot of nuance there. My first interaction with a man I was absolutely paralyzed like I was on the bed leaning on my back and I was not able to move or to do anything and it was like kissing me and it was touching me, but I was not reacting at all. Like the shame was so paralyzed. Pienso que si no le dan las voces las instituciones pueden encontrar en redes un montón de voces que están hablando sobre el estigma del VIH, que están hablando sobre el placer femenino y creo que eso es lo más beneficioso que tienen las redes sociales actualmente. Yo hasta los 19 años no sabía que una persona con VIH podría tener una vida totalmente sana, no sabía que eh, una persona indetectable era intransmisible. Today I, I love it. It's so much fun. Uh, I like to explore a lot of different things. Uh, for a little time I also did an OnlyFans for like a few months just to try out. It was the pandemic, we all need a little bit of money, so <laughs> I said why not to try? I never said no to these things. Like, there is not this kind of shame that I used to have before, which is just very liberating.